how does it feel to have an observatory in your backyard? Like, does it make a huge difference? What's your thought on that? Like, what if you never oh, had one? It's a complete game changer. Um, I, I, I didn't mind so much going out and doing astronomy and setting everything up, but um, all of that stuff, like people like, like to fish, right? People like to go the process of fishing and they're like, oh, it's not about the fish. Um, I think that's, that sucks. For me, it's about the fish. I, I, the process of fishing is boring and wet the ritual and slimy. Yeah, I just want the fish. Um, so in that sense, yeah, it's fine. I don't mind like tweaking with gear and all that sort of stuff, but that's not what I enjoy about the hobby. What I enjoy is actually seeing space, actually looking at the data. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy um, the science of it as well. So for me, the, the whole observatory thing is a bit of a means to an end. That's not to say that I'm going to go remote. I don't really, I don't need to. I like having my stuff here. I can go outside to, to troubleshoot if I need to. Um, I kinda, I, I'm not reliant on a paid service or anything like that. It's all very self-contained. But it has been a complete game changer in terms of my personal output as an astrophotographer. What, uh, what I think it, it cripples me in the sense that as a YouTuber, I don't have these grand adventures that you guys do. When you guys go out and you tell a story, you're like, we found some dirt bikers out here and but maybe there's some charities and like, there's a story. For me, it's like, oh, it's another night in the observatory. How can I make this entertaining? I um, think the grass is always greener on the other side because on our end, it's like, so it's, man, we yeah. would love to have an, an observatory well, just now, in the backyard. Now it's fine, but like before, like in the apartment with no backyard, nothing, we were like, oh, we wish we had like... Mm. But now I've also I gotten see that. Uh, comments like, y'all don't go out enough anymore. Yeah. Where's the storytelling that we used to see? <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not a very um, outdoorsy person, but like I'll go to the beach and stuff with the family. <laughs> I'm right. surprised. I feel like astrophotography, there's a lot of like hand in, ooh, hand in hand uh, camping, outdoorsy type, and then also astrophotography. But I like that not everybody goes in that little Venn diagram of things because I truly love to be inside and do it from the comfort of my own home. <laughs> yeah, the, the observatory is good in that way. And, um, and I am lazy. I'll admit I'm lazy. Uh, so I do like to sit in here with a bottle of wine and an image all night with uh, with Nina doing everything, but uh, but also I've got a family, so it's hard for me to, to get out and about. So yeah. astrophotography has been really a really good family compatible hobby in that sense. Uh, other than the fact that I had to uh, requisition the backyard, which is yeah, <laughs> now that's completely right, mine. <laughs> yeah. What's your what's your bottles at home? I think about two two and a half. Oh, Maybe three. So nice. Yeah, you live, two, you three. live in Borough yeah. two, three. Wow, crazy. So yeah, it's, very, so it's a very low environmental impact sort of town. Very mm -hmm. small town ultimately. Big, big tourism, but um, we've had. They've been lucky. They they actually created uh, the streets with no street lamps and no no wires even. So they buried all the electricity That's underground great. and they kept our suburb really really dark, which is fantastic. Actually, just perfect for for what I'm doing. 